Folks, how you doing? How you feeling today? I'm gonna be reacting to uh, this Age of Calamity launch trailer that apparently dropped without me even knowing. The trailer, the trailer was dropped today. Um, today's Wednesday the 18th and Age of Calamity comes out on Friday, November 20th. So, I'm gonna be stuck to my Nintendo Switch for the foreseeable future. There's been a lot of speculation um, regarding what Age of Calamity storyline is gonna be. We did see on previous trailers that there is a new villain. Um, I'm gonna leave up here my uh, analysis of the Age of Calamity uh, Untold Chronicles trailers. I did, a, I analyzed most of them, at least the ones who had some some very uh, sizable or at least some very notable inclusions in their video. So make sure to check that out. But without further ado, let's check out what this trailer is talking about. Let's get into it. Okay, got the silent princess flower. All right, all right, princess. Okay, with the music. So there isn't much time. Okay, we've seen that. We've seen that. Okay, we got a new. With the knight who seals the darkness. Got a new enemy. Four champions, and you, of course. I'm positive. Bro, this game is looking so nice. Oh, mini Sidon. Little baby Sidon. That you are where you need to be. Go now. Damn, bro, they are, they, this game is going to be story heavy. I'm, I'm so, oh, there he is. Or she, I don't know. My girl, my girl, Urboza. Can't wait to play as her, bro. Okay, we got a broken sword. So he's definitely going to, this is where he dies. Here we go. Yeah, you can't leave us hanging, you know, hanging all dry. To the castle. Yo, please. They should have not shown me that. I, I really did not want to see that. Okay, okay with the little song. We got Zelda's lullaby being sung by that uh, magical guardian, that secret guardian that nobody knows about. A few things. They didn't tell me anything, which I'm, I kind of I kind of like uh, that they didn't actually tell you a lot about the story. Um, you know, games are meant to be played. Games are meant to be enjoyed on your own and actually, you know, figure out the story by yourself. Um, I, I've seen a, a trend of recent like video game trailers literally dropping and telling you the whole gameplay story. Like you guys got to leave up some stuff for the imagination, you know? Which is why I didn't like that little shot at the end. So they're basically, I mean, I it, I kind of knew it was going to happen, but I kind of didn't want to, I kind of wanted to be still like mildly surprised that we were going to be able to play a Zelda, um, you know, fighting off Calamity Ganning and sealing it off. Uh, but it does look like that's going to be the case. Um, let me watch it again real quick. Hold on, what was that? What was that transition right there? No sign of my power awakening. Such a weird transition. Bro, let me see what is what is this? This this person, who is this? What is that? What, is that really an ancient core? That looks like an ancient core, which is just uh uh completely corrupted with malice. That shot of Urbosa fighting is one of the best shots I've ever seen in my life. But yeah, this is what I'm talking about. They're even showing us the, the point when the champions all die. You can tell that this is when they all fall because they're fighting the uh, um, they're fighting the Blight Ganons. Um, and you already know that that's when they die. Like, why are you showing us all this? Like, leave something to the imagination, you know? Hold on, what was she shooting at? What was she shooting at? Oh, it's just a garden. And then here comes the best part. Mm. 
I'm liking that. I'm liking that. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm excited, man. Like it's it, it, it's looking to be a very complete game. You know, I think the story is gonna be. You know, it's gonna be. It's the main attraction to this game. I mean, everybody knows what's happened, but at the same time, like we're all expecting, you know, for everybody to die because that's how it is. But it's it's looking really well. You know, I'm super impressed with the graphics. I know the gameplay graphics may not be the best, especially. I mean, it's a Switch Switch graphics, and it's a Muzu game. Like you can't expect them to be next gen graphics. You know, I am super amazed with the art style. I'm happy that Nintendo worked closely with Koei Tecmo for the development of this game, because the cutscenes are looking great. I mean, I was seeing the Guardians; they looked really, really well. Um, everything looks super. Um, you know, very, very true to a Breath of the Wild style, which I think is what people are worried about because it was a Muzu game. It's basically a spinoff game. Like it is a prequel, but it is a spinoff game because it wasn't directly developed by Nintendo. So at least hopefully the art style is giving a lot of people some peace of mind of how this game is going to turn out to be. It's given me a lot of peace of mind. I'll tell you that. So I'm excited, man. Just two more sleeps, two more sleeps. And I got to go pick that up gotta pick that game up and i will definitely be streaming it this weekend on on sunday so be on the lookout for that please make sure to follow me on twitch where i stream mondays wednesdays and definitely on sundays where i'm, I'm an affiliate so any and all your, of your support is greatly appreciated um but if, you know you let me know what do you think of uh of this trailer do you think uh well, are you excited first of all for age of calamity do you think it's uh it's gonna be, live up to the expectation that people have um i mean the reviews have been coming out already and like uh, i saw a little i saw a couple of sixes there six out of ten so let's hope that the the greats people have been giving you know that those six out of tens have mostly to do with the gameplay graphics and not so much the story because i mean like i said the story is the biggest attractor for this game so let's hope it's just the the, the gameplay and or the graphics because i mean it, it's it is what it is it's a muzu game it's on the switch it's it's you know you gotta you gotta lower your expectations sometimes i know we got next gen graphics now but it's nintendo they're not known for the graphics i'm not i'm not saying that we should dismiss you sh we shouldn't call them out but still like Yo, relax. But I've been True Fernie. If you like this video, go ahead and get a thumbs up and subscribe. We're very close to 200 subscribers, which is a, a huge milestone for me. It's the most subscribers I ever had on YouTube. And like, it might not seem like a lot, but it is greatly appreciated. Um, every single person that subscribed to me, I, I greatly appreciate and, and all the views that come from you guys. Thank you, thank you very much. With that, please take care of each other, but most importantly, take care of yourself. Peace.